Now in this example, we're going to take a couple ideas from the past and we're going to combine with this new thing we call matrices that we're exploring. Now, let's see what we've got here. We have already know what a translation is. We're going to take an image and we're going to slide it on the coordinate plane. So we were given in our textbook, we're given this as our pre-image or the given polygon. And we can see from here that we have one, two, three, four vertices, four points or vertices. We'll graph those first and that will be our pre-image, our pre-image quadrilateral. And in consistency with the book, we'll stay, we're going to go with blue for the pre-image and we'll translate red for image. So let's look at this first. Each of these values, the first row will be the X or the abscissa, the second row Y or the ordinate, and in each case L will be the point 2, negative 1, M, 0, 3 on the Y axis, N, 2, 3, and P, 3, negative 1. So let's plot those. 2, negative 1. And that would go right there. 0, 3 on the Y axis, as we'd expect. 2, 3. Oops. Hit. Over here. 3, negative 1. Keep missing. And then if we just finish the polygon, we can see that we've got a quadrilateral. Now, more specifically, we'd see that we have a trapezoid because the MN and LP are both have zero slope, making them parallel. But that's last chapter. Let's move on to the new stuff. So, right now, we're going to say we're trying to define some kind of translation. We're going to slide the figure four units to the right and two units up. First thing we're going to do is we are going to define a translation matrix. A translation matrix, you'll notice, is going to have the same dimensions. Two columns, sorry, two rows, four columns. In each case, each of the X's is going to be represented with a four. Each of the Y's, two. Because as we remember in our matrix addition, we are going to take a two by four matrix, add it to a two by four matrix, and our sum will be again a two by four matrix. Very simply, four plus two, six, two plus negative one, one, four plus zero, four, etc. So you can see you're just going to take each element from the translation matrix, add it to each corresponding element in the pre-image matrix, and the sum is the element in the image matrix. Now if we were to graph this, we, oh, there I go again. I know it's going to end up over here. And I can actually visualize over 4, up 2 for the M, for the N, 4 in the, again, 4 in the X, 2 in the Y. And what I can see is that I'm shifting or translating the image. And that image is congruent to the pre-image. This is simply a translation. In every one of these cases, we're going to be using matrix addition. We'll save that multiplication for the trickier stuff. But right here, this is the easy, this is pretty good. We take a translation matrix, we add it to our pre-image, the blue one, and we get the image matrix. And there you have it.